Hi everyone, I hope you're doing well. I'm honestly not feeling great, so I don't even know why I'm filming this video. It's the holiday weekend, so I let myself have a little bit too much fun. Went out at night to celebrate a friend's birthday, woke up, did that check you do in your purse to make sure you have your wallet and your keys and your phone, and although I have those three things, I opened up my wallet. I still have it in there because I haven't taken it out. I opened up my Sailor Moon wallet and inside it was fucking empty except for a coaster. But anyway, that's not the point of this video. Don't get blackout drunk like I did. That's not normal for me. That's the first time I've lost things like that, but grad school sometimes just gets to you. Anyway, I know the title of this video is going to be making changes because when it comes down to it, that's what the end result of this will be. But honestly, the changes I'm going to be making are going to be so small, you guys probably won't even notice them. But I have been struggling with sort of a bad state of mind when it comes to YouTube and my videos over the past six months to a year. And this is really more so a discussion video about that. And I would be really curious to hear from other people or other creators on YouTube. Side note, I despise the word creators or content. I don't know why, it just really rubs me the wrong way, so I'm probably going to irritate myself throughout this video by saying those two words over and over again. But when I hear other content creators talk about making their videos, one thing I continually hear people say is when I film a video it feels like I'm just talking to a friend. It feels like I can just click on the camera and be myself. I mean, I have to say for the past year or so, when I turn on the camera, it doesn't feel like I'm talking to a friend. It feels like I'm filming a video. And I've been struggling with why I think that is the case. And I think I figured out why. I've always been really critical of the videos that I put up. And whenever I'm going through and I'm editing a video and I'm deciding, should I leave this part in? Should I leave it out? What I always ask myself is, would the majority of people who are subscribed to me want to watch that or not? And 99% of the time, if I'm on the edge about editing a certain part of a video out, I will go ahead and cut it out. And what I end up cutting out are generally tangents, things that aren't 100% related to the topic of the video at hand. So if I'm filming a book review, if I go off on a tangent about something that's slightly related, 99% of the time, even though I think it's somewhat entertaining and I think some people might like to hear about that, I cut it out because I think, okay, that's not what people clicked on the video for. They clicked on the video to just see the book review. And I think what exactly exacerbated that was going on to my YouTube analytics. I don't even know if I would recommend looking at this aspect of the analytics, but you can see how long people generally watch your videos. And at this time, it was about a year ago, my videos were generally around maybe eight or nine minutes long. I clicked on the analytics and I saw in general people watched about four minutes of the video and then clicked off. <laughs> so, so what this got me thinking was, okay, I'm still gonna just put up content that I enjoy and I love, but I should probably make my videos just a tiny bit shorter. Because I think when you are a YouTuber or anything like this in social media, it's difficult to find that balance between putting up a content that you're happy with, where you're being yourself and it's what you want to be talking about, but also understanding what your viewers want to see. People love to say in YouTube advice videos, tips for starting a channel, to just be yourself and not think about what anybody else is thinking. And, and if I'm honest, I've always agreed with that advice because you need to do that. But at the same time, I've always thought it was a bit naive because when it comes down to it, you're putting up videos for people to watch. It's for the public. So obviously you have to have in mind what people are thinking when they're watching them. I think my issue has been finding that balance and then it shifted too much to thinking and catering to what I think people want to see. But, but then what's happened is I've cut out, I think, so much of my personality and I've become so almost rigid. And I don't know if you guys can tell this on camera, but I certainly feel it when I've been filming videos over the past year or so. But I'm so conscious about thinking about what other people want to see in my videos and cutting out anything that I think people might find annoying or weird that, that I end up cutting out my personality and my overall personality in my videos I think has not lessened but I just haven't felt myself on videos for a really long time. I did do a video if you're interested and I'll link that down below a long time ago about booktube versus real life personalities and how some people are completely themselves on camera. I'm getting out of breath. Other people, their personalities are much more heightened and other people are more subdued. And I think I'm always gonna be on the more subdued end. In real life, I think my personality is a bit bigger. I'm not loud and crazy, but I'm much more sarcastic and a little strange. Although I hate it when people say like, I'm quirky, but you know, I'm a little odd. And when I've watched my videos lately, I haven't necessarily seen myself. So I would love to hear from other people who make videos if this is something you struggle with. I, I say struggle with, this is a very first world problem, I'm very aware. And I do wanna point out, I haven't not enjoyed any of the videos that I've been putting up. I've still been only putting up videos that I want to create. The issue is more so that I have 
haven't been putting up some other videos that I wanted to because I thought, well, they're not entirely book related. That's that's what people are subscribed to me for, so I won't put it up. For instance, I've been kind of wanting to do I Saw the Witch recently and really wanted to review it, but then I thought, no, just put up the next book related video you've been wanting to record. But the more I think about it, the people that I love watching are the people who sometimes talk about things that aren't entirely related to books, the people that really showcase their real personalities in videos, that go off on tangents that sometimes lead their videos to be much longer. The two people that immediately come to my mind are Chincia of C.A. Dubois and Alex of <laughs> blanked on his channel name for a second, View from the Bar. But when I really think about it, the booktube content that I like watching, it might not be 100% book related all the time, but they are 100% themselves. For example, when I talked about the little coaster tangent, that's something I would 100% have cut out if this were a month ago, but I'm gonna force myself to not do that. Another very minor change I'm going to be making is to Nick's star ratings on my book reviews. This is something that I've been doing for the past month or so. I've just not mentioned the star rating at the end, and I've gotten some comments like, okay, well, I saw your review, but how many stars would you give it? And I just overall hate star ratings. I think they're overly simplistic and just kind of silly. I obviously will still do them on Goodreads, but overall I just won't be mentioning them in videos. I would love to hear from those of you who make videos if you've struggled with this same issue as well, or if you're a viewer, I would love to hear why it is you watch the booktubers you do. And so, so I hope you guys liked this video. I also didn't realize how Sailor Moon themed I am in this video. I'm not generally a walking Sailor Moon advertisement, but, but I hope you guys liked this. I hope you have a great Easter Sunday if you celebrate, and I'll see you guys soon.